Hi everyone. Um, this in this video, I am going to go over how to print using the Glue on Web Client. So this is the printing option that we're going to be using on campus, including the library, obviously, um, for wireless devices. Uh, we're going to go to our tech pages, and you'll be able to see that our wireless printing tutorial is in the same spot as the previous one. So you can see this has an uh, overview of the whole process, which means you don't have to worry about memorizing the entire process during this video. The first thing that we're going to need to do is make sure the patron has the printer they want to print to installed on their device. If they do, you can go right to the web client with them. If they don't, you need to help them install the printer. So depending on their OS, you can click on the corresponding link down here to see the step-by-step -step process. So here's the Mac, and we can go one, two, three, four, five, and Mac should auto-populate with the printers. So you're basically just selecting the correct one, and it'll install itself. On Windows and Linux, you will need the links that we provided for you up here on top. After you're sure the patron has the correct printer installed, you're going to go to the web client. This is not the regular print.newpulse.edu. So after you click the link, please bookmark it and then have the patron login. Okay. Um, I already have one in here uh, pending release. So that's what the pop-up was about. Um, after you have them log in, obviously you'll see this screen or nothing here. Um, if you don't have anything pending, we're going to go to the document that the patron needs to print and print from this application. So I'm going to go up here so you can see the print dialog and make sure that you have the correct printer selected and print. It usually doesn't take very long for it to pop up. Let's see. It's telling me that it's going to the server. So hopefully, there you go. It didn't take very long. Okay. And now you can see I have two documents that are printing, being printed here. Um, to release the print job, you need to click on the printers button on the top right. Okay. Because you can obviously see there's nowhere on this screen to release anything. You can see my most recently used. You can see the most popular. You're going to completely ignore them. Um, I understand, like they say library, and these are the printers, but Gluon, that's right next to it. That means that it is the wired network. And if you look inside here, I printed to LJ1. You can see that there's nothing inside this queue. Uh, the path is different than the wireless path. So we're going to go back to printers. And you're going to scroll until you get to library. It is in alphabetical order, so small miracles. And okay, so here are our LJ1s. Um, 9050 is our old printer, so hopefully by the time you are looking here yourself, that won't even be here and it'll be deleted off. We're going to go to the LJ1, the M806 print.newpulse.edu. These are the wireless printers. So you can do that with any of them. Um, here is the number three. Here's number two. Okay. So I'm going to go up to number one. You can see my printers here, or my uh, queue inside of this printer. So we're going to make sure that each checkbox is selected for the documents that you want to take action on. So if I just wanted one of these to be canceled, I can go ahead and do that. And if I want to release this one, I will do that now. Okay. So I release the job. You can see that the queue is now empty. And to go back to kind of my home page, I would click jobs again. Here you can see the actions that were taken on each one of your documents. And that is it. Uh, my one document will be coming out over in the printer right now. So as a quick recap, you're going to print the document from its application and then release it from its web queue in the web client. Okay, thanks.